The coronavirus has changed the entire business landscape in every community. There are businesses that are barely hanging on and many others that did not make it. NBC Bay Area's Damien Trujillo shows us a tale of two merchants. The customers are slowly coming back to Tracy's Salon in San Jose, but it's been a bumpy ride for owner Tracy Gwynn. Her salon barely survived two shutdowns. It is very scary to us, like after the first time it's closed. So I have a little worry. Tracy relied on government grants, family donations, and loans to keep her salon open. It's really, really worry for me, but um, I try to survive myself because uh, I don't want to close the business. Meanwhile, there are several other businesses that did not survive the pandemic. The Fairmont Hotel down the street filed for bankruptcy, and there are many other small businesses that will not reopen. Chacho's restaurant downtown is one of them. After 27 years, the owner lost it all to COVID. Wow, uh, it, it's, a, it's a blow to the heart, blow to the wallet. Very devastating. George Sanchez says he lost millions by closing the downtown flagship and the new restaurant that only opened for a few months in Midtown. I paid my last employees in San Jose with my life insurance. You know, I, I, I took, a, I took a, an advance on my life insurance to pay my staff. So what's next for Sanchez? This. He's giving it another try in the restaurant business, another Chacho's in Morgan Hill, and he's optimistic. We'll overcome this, you know. Uh, you know, Americans, Mexicanos, uh, you know, we know how to strive, we know how to, you know, persevere. But just in case, as a fallback, George is also opening a construction business with a staff of one. Well, I mean, you got to look at a second alternative, you know, so I, 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 I am working at getting my license, like I mentioned, uh, it's something that you got to look at. Perhaps it's an entrepreneurial spirit that not even the coronavirus can destroy. Damien Trujillo, NBC Bay Area News.